Moving his camp to the castle of Lazano, Napoleon watched as Surrey pushed Colli back from San Michel to Mondovi. There, Colli stopped just long enough to be defeated in a brief battle resulting in heavy casualties. But during the French pursuit that followed, Napoleon's cavalry commander was killed, Murat taking his place. The French then advanced on Alba, Bosana, and Churrasco. The seizure of Churrasco, a major stronghold with large quantities of badly needed supplies and munitions, not to mention a few dozen cannon and fresh transport, on April 25th, was another important coup. For the first time in many weeks, the men could eat properly and even be paid. Completely demoralized, undefended, and frankly terrified by the reports of pillaging and rapine that preceded the approaching French army, the representatives of King Victor Amadeus of Sardinia requested an armistice at Turin with the, this awesome Bonaparte, to which he agreed on April 28th. The French were to be allowed to occupy Siva, Suano, and Tortona or else Alessandria, and at the same time were granted the right of free passage both to France and across Piedmontese territory to the Po and beyond. The Sardinian king was forced to break with his Austrian allies while keeping his own troops in garrison with strict orders not to interfere with the French. Thus, with the armistice of Churrasco, Bonaparte had a tentative illegal foothold in Piedmont, but until the Austrians could be neutralized permanently, far from a secure one. And they, for the moment at least, were as astonished as the Piedmontese at the amazing, amazing French advance. A proud Bonaparte now sent his armistice agreement back to Paris with his aide-de-camp, Colonel Marat, accompanied by none other than Selec Chetty, uh, the senior political commissar attached to his army, the very same Salicetti who had earlier demanded his arrest. How this transformation occurred remains a mystery. In any event, in less than two weeks, Napoleon had captured a series of towns, broken the Piedmontese army, inflicted 6,000 battle casualties, and taken thousands of prisoners. For all this was due chiefly to the enemy's inferior numbers, poor leadership, and even poorer state of morale determination and confidence. Bonaparte therefore had yet to prove himself. The victorious French army was still in pretty sad shape itself, forcing its commander to call for strong reinforcements from France, which did not, however, prevent him from preparing to launch the next stage of the campaign. As he now informed Carnot, I intend to catch up with the Austrians and defeat them before you have time to reply to this letter. letter. Soldiers, he addressed his troops, in two weeks time you have won six victories, taken 21 flags, 55 pieces of artillery, several forts, and conquered the richest part of Piedmont. We have you have taken, taken 15,000 prisoners and killed or wounded another 10,000 men. You have won battles without cannon, crossed rivers without bridges, and made forced marches without shoes, drink, or bread. But soldiers, do not deceive yourselves. You have still achieved nothing, because you still have everything to do, for neither Turin nor Milan are yet in our hands. Soldiers, your country has the right to expect great things of you. There remains battles to fight, cities to take, rivers to cross, and friends, I promise you, will achieve it all. And then turning to the Piedmontese, he said, People of Italy, the French army has just broken your chains of bondage. The French people are the friends of all peoples. Have confidence and work with us. Your property, your religion, and your customs will be respected. After occupying Alessandria, French troops continued their pursuit of the Austrians, and by April 30th, 1796 had crossed the Po. With fresh reinforcements, Napoleon now had almost 40,000 men at his disposal. As he feinted a major crossing of the Po at Balen Balenza, with Surya's force opposite Belou's army, concentrate on the north shore there. Instead, Napoleon would head the main force to strike at their rear, farther down river, and behind the Austrians lay Milan, the capital of Lombardy, 
his next objective. By May 6th, the army had moved up to its new positions, and before dawn the next morning, a special unit, including Colonel Lenz, 3,600 grenadiers, and 2,500 cavalry set out for Piazza, reaching it after a brisk five-hour march. If the troops were not fresh, they were willing as Lenz led the first four battalions across the Po there. A few miles northwest, about halfway to Milan, lay the town of Lodi. Aguero was crossing the Po at Veretto, bringing news that Surye and Messina were following. That night, during violent, confused fighting between Napoleon's and Bellot's forces at Codono, General La Harpe was mistakenly shot by his own men. Bonaparte hurriedly ordered his chief of staff, General Berthier, to replace him. Although his forces outnumbered the French, the indecisive 73-year-old Bellot retreated to Lodi on the river Ada. By the 9th, the last of Messina's and Surya's divisions had crossed the Po after a forced march of 60 miles. Napoleon was bent on preventing Bellot from escaping once again as he prepared for a final battle with the Austrian commander at Lodi. Alas, Bellot had already made his retreat, crossing the Eda and falling back toward Cremona, leaving only one tough, largely Croatian di division of 10,000 men to guard the vital bridgehead at Lodi as the French approach on May 10th. As usual, in the ensuing battle, Bonaparte was in the heaviest part of the fighting, and after clearing Lodi, he brought up 24 guns and concentrated on the Austrian troops on the far side of the Eda. A brief Austrian charge quickly collapsed as Messina and Berthier headed a powerful French column against them, ultimately breaking the center of the Austrian position. Overwhelmed by vastly superior forces, the brave Austrians retreated to Brescia, having achieved their objective of delaying the French. In the brief battle at Lodi, the Austrians had lost 150 dead and many hundreds of wounded and prisoners compared with a much higher French casualty list. But with Lodi now theirs and the Austrians gone, the road to Milan lay open. They, the directory, have seen nothing yet, an exhilarated Napoleon exclaimed to Captain Mormont. That evening, for the first time, no longer considered myself a mere general, but a man called upon to decide the fate of peoples, Bonaparte later remarked. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Ragnarok here with part 10 of my Napoleon Italy campaign. This guy has actually uh, retreated off the field. I've never seen the AI actually retreat from a battle before, to be honest. Anyway, I, I hope you guys enjoyed those uh, little bit of, uh, of well, that rather lengthy introduction. I'm trying out some new things here on the channel. Uh, even losses, but uh, they did have artillery, so I, I think that was the big difference there. And we should be able to take the settlement with too much without too much trouble now. I am hoping anyway. Hoping that. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna auto resolve this. Uh, we're just up against armed citizenry, and I think the auto resolve will actually build a better result for us. To be perfectly honest. Not to mention, I just kind of want to it's getting to that point of the campaign where I want to speed things along and, and work towards finishing things up. Uh, views uh, are not as high as I was hoping for the series, but you know, what can you do? It's a game that's, I don't know what, like 10 years old now, something like that. So it is an older, older title, so you can't expect it to uh, do super well necessarily. Opera House, what's the bonus of this? Hmm. I don't know if that's worth building or we should just get the uh, get some more troops in the field, probably. 
Actually, let's start here in Mantua. Get a couple more artillery pieces going. And... Kind of need numbers in the field right now. Honest. Tempted to get some more fusiliers of the line. But I think we'll go with the militia for, for now. Might lose Verona. Because we've got a force here. Relatively small force though. Really want to attack this, but it's very, very risky. Napoleon's army is pretty beat up. Making a fair bit of fair bit of money next turn. So I, I was thinking to merge these guys, but we'll let the replenishment, we'll get the replenishment, and then maybe we can attack this next turn. I think that's the best way to go about it. And so let's recruit. Just get the numbers up for now. Bonus replenishment. No piece. This one is too far from the front lines. I guess it's not that far. We'll recruit it there. Let's try and see if we can get a little bit more troops. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. I don't think there's too much else to do. Uh, let's just hope the peed monies don't get out of line because they've actually got a full stack back there. Full stack plus some. Um, which could be very, very dangerous for us. That would be actually quite useful. Though so seven turns, I mean, I don't know if we would make our money back from that. Thing is how short the campaign is, but anyway. All right, the map looks pretty good. Probably should have been a little bit more daring and, and attack Padua there. But are they gonna attack us? Oh no, they're gonna go around us. Interesting, interesting move. Uh, leave the settlement for us here. And lure us into a trap. That would be plan is here. I think we need to get everyone together here. Here he is, of course. Make our way to Odina next turn. You, sir, can move up to here. Alright, so I am gonna build this manufactory. Whether or not we. Oh man, I should have built this market ages ago. Build that. For the building here. Finished. Alright, good. Alrighty. To get him caught up to Napoleon's force. But probably should destroy this army. Move him to there and defend that a little bit better. Wonder if we should send a couple troops back to there. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. They do attack it. Always have... Durier up there. That actually, let's... Hmm. Alright, I have an idea. Let's send someone to scout. 
add a little bit. I just want to see if there's an army over here. If there's a force here. Otherwise we can... Mission is... There's an... Oh boy. That is a pretty sizable stack. Deadly stack as well. Alright, we actually we can't afford to lose this settlement. That is not good. I will move Surya to there. Actually, move these guys back down to here. Do not want to lose this settlement and to a very very important for us to hold be getting some more cavalry in the field but I'm just wondering where's the nearest place we can recruit them aside from Mantua it's way the hell back here Turin yeah Turin I don't know if before we'd see them but still would allow us to group more quickly up here. Get to the front eventually. Spent all the money. We're doing some building this turn. So Monsieur, vos should cancel some of that building and just recruit more troops. And they have much better quality than we do. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus the cavalry. And we do have a damaged there for it. There. Seven hundred. Alright, I think we're gonna take this settlement. And then we can swing back around. Deal with them. Damn it, there's actually more in here than I was expecting. Alright, well, this might be a little bit more difficult than I was hoping for. Where is their artillery? Is that the artillery or...? Okay, artillery is also the general, I guess. Oh man, this is some nice looking high ground back here corner to camp in, but I don't know that we'll have time to get back there. Really? Oh, actually we can... Oh man, it's part of the deployment zone. Never mind. That's perfect. range. It might have range on us. I think we're going to have to deploy it closer. So, kind of got the high ground. We deploy over here. We're still out of range. The pounders are almost within range of their guns. really like to take their guns out right away, but I don't think that's going to be possible. And their guns are going to outrange our guns. 
gonna be a bit of a problem. I don't like the way that it's setting up there. I think we're gonna set up here. I think we've just got better line of sight. But if I can get it lined up the way I want it. Following you can sit on the hill. Yeah, it's interesting the bit of history uh, that we've read there that Napoleon was always in the heaviest uh, heaviest, heaviest areas of fighting and I think that's very characteristic of his early military career but later on in his military career he definitely was uh, was leading from the back Command the position. Actually, this stand over here. You in reserve and that goes. Just corner camp it, I suppose, and see what happens here. See if they can come at us. If they're just gonna. Suppose we're probably gonna have to do something here. Oh no, maybe they're well, maybe they're gonna come at us by the fact that they have they should have range on us, yeah. They're shooting at us now already. Let's just hang back there. I think we should be okay in this situation. Especially if they funnel in here. Towards our guns. So they will flank us. Bit of a problem. I think we'll be alright. I'm gonna try to do this without too many casualties anyway. Really unfortunate. We don't have a cavalry force. I guess we could send Napoleon all the way around. Yeah, at the guns, but a little bit dangerous. Actually, no. Better keep him here just in case we need the the extra extra morale. All right, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Be on the safe side here. hope with canister shot we can, we can we'll be able to break them. We're in a pretty pretty solid position here and the cannon doesn't seem like it's too accurate from that distance anyway. Lost a few men but nothing too major. Shots off. Guys, we might need to. I need to charge in the center there. Really, you guys can take on one armed citizenry. Oh, that's right, a lot of this is armed citizenry. Should be, be able to take it on. Canister shot. I don't know, this could be bad. I don't like 
the way this is we're sizing up here. Damn it. Remember your training. We break these guys over here. Ah, damn it to hell. Son of a bitch, they silenced one of our guns. Be a little bit more difficult than I was hoping. Uh, deploying in the corner here like this might have been a bit of a mistake. Holding on the hill here. Might throw Napoleon in here. Charge off. I think we're going to end up holding, but fuck me. We can see damage here. Get a charge out, see if we can break them. Napoleon, that would be a disaster. Get him injured. I'm definitely going to need him. Get to them and break them. Alright, I think it's almost over. I think it'll just be the cannon that we need to break. Woo! It's tough to get through these battles without a number of casualties, but we're kind of, eh, I don't know, I'm not crazy about the way I deployed there. Maybe I should have deployed a cannon, maybe kept the 8-pounders here and the two 6-pounders here, and maybe would have had a little bit better range on the battlefield. And I still have not got that double click down for moving the generals, gosh. In here, and this should just about do it. If we can break this unit, I think the rest of them will uh, will route. Our 
Tell me we're not gonna have to go all the way over there. Deal with them. I think it's gonna break. All right, there we go. All right, good stuff. Another settlement under our control, but we. Kind of extended our lines quite a bit. Felt like we lost a lot more than 400. Anyway, that's all right. Probably should recruit here as well. Yeah, we could. Oh, son of a bitch! We could actually the army. Oh my good god! All right, we are. Oh boy, this is bad. I think we've definitely overextended ourselves. We've got some very big stacks. Well, this one isn't as... I mean, it's a half stack, but this, this force... We're definitely not in shape to take that on, so... It was actually a mistake to come here. This turn, so let's actually pull back. Cancel. Or cancel that, and pull... Napoleon back to here. Let's actually see if we can hit this force. If we can eliminate them, that would be great, but we're, we're not ready to take that on. We're, I really should be regrouping here. And Alright, if we use Napoleon, we can actually do the attack here and probably should do that. Just so we can get rid of this force. Less we have to deal with. We don't want them running around in behind our lines and whatnot. And I think we're gonna auto uh, no, we should fight this. We're gonna auto resolve that. I think we'll fight this and then call it a day here. It's been a little bit of a, a little bit of a run around, I guess. Pushing a little bit too far, too quickly. I think um, time is not too much of a concern right now. I think we'll be okay. I think we should have plenty of time. I would suggest probably regroup and and get some more uh, some more troops in the field before we try and finish off. Venice and make our push through Austria. I'm gonna get these guns set up as quickly as possible. This is a pretty good spot. Uh, the really bad thing from that last battle is the damage we suffered on the artillery. We really can't afford to be taking so much damage on the artillery that takes so damn long to replenish. Up a little bit. Shut up. There, I think. On limber. Mention our infantry here is kind of slim. I'd actually have the opportunity to get Napoleon over there and take out their artillery. First, you come over on this side. First. 
Not crazy about how the reinforcements, when they come on the field, they just blindly just move forward. No matter what the situation. Good. It doesn't look like they're going to reposition their artillery. Actually got it facing the opposite direction. Slow this down here just so that I don't make any catastrophic mistakes. Let our artillery do the bulk of the work here. So the one good thing, the auto resolve probably would have uh, destroyed this army completely. I think if we would have auto resolved here. I we'll have to try and do a good job of, of running them all down. I don't think they really have any chance here, especially with the artillery. I think we would have suffered actually quite a bit of damage in the auto resolve. Getting in over here, take them down. Be fine. He doesn't come around. Looks like he's interested in. Let the artillery keep picking these guys off. Surprise oh, attack. These guys face the wrong direction. Sure, you run them all down, and then I guess we'll position Napoleon, keep him over here uh, for one of these units route, and catch them as they uh, try to make their way off the, the battlefield. And hit the arm. And take him down, then they will break much more quickly. Suicide charge here. Well, that was a good shot. Good light. A uh, little bit of a ridge there. The cannons are kind of bouncing out. That was a fucking sweet shot right there. Seven of them left. to not allow those guys to escape. I guess we can just follow up with a quick auto resolve. Finish the army off completely. And you know what? I think we'll be okay just to charge in here. I should be able to break them, especially with the general. Being gone. Alright, I want to part back this way. Never gonna catch the general there. My bad, I kind of fell asleep there. Come on, get in there. Just gonna hold your fire now. Yeah, we need to get this army replenished. We might actually, might actually be, not be a bad idea to, uh, to merge them, some of these units. Just get 
Get some more recruitment going. Just gonna continue here and uh, let Bonaparte run these guys down. Get the ah oh, son of a bitch. Come on. I'm just off already. I don't know if he's gonna be able to catch these guys. left. Uh, the map's big enough. I think that will be, yeah, he should be able to catch them before they get off the field. There is no escape. These Phoenician line the infantry. It's a really a weird move for them to move this tiny force out in the middle of the woods here. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Yard. Anyway. Allows us to get rid of a few of them with fairly minimal ca casualties. I am a little bit worried about that force that's sitting inside Venice right now. That could be really tough to deal with. Did manage to lose 154. Okay, the general didn't actually escape. All right, cool. Looks good. Back into the army there. All right, where are we recruiting? I think I'm just going to go through an end turn here, and then we will call it a day, I think, after the end turn. And yeah, we'll want to recruit there and there. Put more troops in. Ugh, God, they're in such bad shape. Well. This will save us some income next turn. Urging these guys. How many does that say? Does that say 35? I think 35. Damn, I need to get my eyes checked. Holy smokes. My sight's gotten bad. Anyway, all right, I think that's all the merging that we'll do. We should be out of range of this force. Uh, we'll probably lose this settlement that we just took this turn. But we are getting a decent amount of money in next turn. And we'll probably have to get our two armies linked together. Should be in good shape after that. And two more turns, we get a couple more artillery pieces in the field. And you guys are replenishing slowly, but. Okay. And then how many turns? Three turns till the ordnance factory is done. And then we can. There'll be three more turns after that before we get the eight pound guns. Also, want to get some more cavalry in the field here soon. Anyway, I, I think. Probably the priority of finishing them off. Ooh, it looks like the Papal States are starting to get a little bit... Well, we'll see. Late November. See if they declare war on us. What size force is this? Not huge. We're not to lose Verona. If we lose Verona, then... We're not going to get replenishment here. Uh, 
All right, go back to uh, back to the Vatican. Oh boy. Yeah, so this was inevitable that they were going to declare war on us, but and I was hoping to force the armistice with Venice before that. At least they didn't attack this settlement. We're just going to sit, stay put here. But this is going to be, or we're going to need a sizable force to dislodge that. So wait for these artillery pieces to be recruited and. Maybe we'll start getting some cavalry in the field, or, well, more cavalry in the field. Might send Napoleon up here to take Trento. Should we come down here and deal with this? Which movement does he have? Doesn't have quite enough to get there. It does, though. Hmm. Decent sized force here. All right, well, lots to think about. I mean, we're in a pretty solid position. We can pretty much strike out from anywhere here, and we're just kind of rebuilding our forces, and we've got a little bit over a year, so I think 26 turns left still uh, to get to Klagenfort. And, I mean, worst case scenario, can we just make a bad dash straight for it if it looks like we're going to be short on time, which I think will be okay here for time. Yeah, how many settlements? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. And if we count month back here, twelve. So I mean if we are gonna go for full map, twelve more settlements. It's not too bad, but they're kinda spread out a little bit. We'd have to backtrack a fair bit. And the other thing is too, if we take Klagenfort, that ends the campaign essentially taking Klagenfort, so we have to take that last, but yeah, I don't know, we'll figure it out, really want to take Venice to probably neutralize the Austrians in the area, and now we've got to deal with the Papal States, but the Papal States only have the two settlements, still got to be tough to deal with though, so we'll just rebuild our forces for a turn or two, which shouldn't take, yeah, We've got more artillery in the field and just want to get some more cavalry in the field and we should be well suited to take on whatever and then yeah we'll figure it out thanks for watching guys part 11 is next try and finish this thing up in the next uh four or five episodes i would think and yeah potentially do the egypt campaign next I, i'm not sure i don't know napoleon egypt possibly or i Probably take a little bit of a break after this campaign uh, before we go back to Napoleon again. Probably, but you never know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Ragnarok signing out.